This segment of the news is brought to you by Sun Oil Limited. Education Minister Jeffrey Lloyd calling the death of a C.I. Gibson student who fell, subsequently hitting his head on the sidewalk of the school last Thursday unfortunate, extending his condolences to the family and the school community. Minister Lloyd says he's still awaiting a report on the incident. We are awaiting the reports on that from the police and uh, the medical authorities, but it's a very unfortunate incident. I am myself waiting for an official report to come across my desk. We have, of course, have extended to the family of this young man and to the school community. Community. We have dispatched uh, our sympathies and condolences. We have dispatched our grief counselors to the school to assist them in, um, in you know, dealing with this most unfortunate incident. When our reporters visited the school on Monday, only teachers were on campus as the student body has already started Christmas break. The school constructed a memorial for the student who was identified as 11th grader Arlington Turnquest. Principal Herbert Ombler said the incident occurred near the entrance of the school as students were doing bike checks before entering the gate. He was taken to the hospital by ambulance and the school staff was later informed of the students passing that evening. Mr. Ombler said counselors were at the school to meet with students, adding that teachers who are in the process of marking exams are still distraught. He stated that the student had a known heart condition. Shifting gears in crime news, police seeking the public's assistance in, in finding the trigger man behind a shooting incident that took place last night. According to police, shortly after 11 p.m., a male was brought into Princess Margaret Hospital via private vehicle, suffering from gunshot wounds. The victim was rushed into surgery. He's listed as critical but stable. The police appealing to members of the public who may have information to contact the Central Detective Unit, Crime Stoppers, or your nearest police station. The Caribbean Travel Awards crowning a new Tourism Director of the Year. The Bahamas' very own Director General of Tourism, Joy Gibberlew, won the coveted award thanks to her expertise in stewardship and proficient handling of the tourism industry following the devastating effects of Hurricane Dorian. Mrs. Gibberlew has sought out to develop and promote the Bahamian tourism industry since May 2014. Mrs. Gibberlew, on receiving the award, says being named Tourism Director of the Year by Caribbean Journal, a leading regional publication is a very rewarding accolade, adding that this award crowns a year that has seen the Bahamas rise to meet one of the greatest challenges dealt to the tourism economy. Chief and founder of the Caribbean Journal, Alexander Brittle, remarked that Mrs. Gibberlew has done an admirable job for the Bahamas in a year of immense highs and tragic lows, from a rapid tourism surge early in the year to calmly leading the destination through the tragedy of Hurricane Dorian. The new director of the year, ranks along with five others who have received this award since its inception. Stay with us. Our Torino Saunders is up next with sports. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.